step into the enigmatic world of the classic TV series from the early 70 seconds that continues to captivate audiences today. You might wonder if there's a specific moment that has etched itself into your memory from this iconic show, or which legendary Hollywood actor stood out the most for you. With its distinct storytelling and intriguing character dynamics, this timeless series has left an indelible mark on many. Its ability to engage viewers through intricate mysteries and the unforgettable performances of revered actors remains unparalleled. Speaking of the show's intriguing facets, did you know that Columbo featured a range of famous guest stars, including notable names like Johnny Cash, Leonard Nimoy, and Dick Van Dyke? Now, it's your turn. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this remarkable series? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We're eager to hear your fond recollections and the impact this show had on you. When the series started, the character of Columbo was meant to be suave and polished, originally envisioned for Bing Crosby. However, Peter Falk, with his messy appearance and rambling style, turned the role around. The producers hesitated, unsure if audiences would accept a detective who looked like a vagrant. But Falk's portrayal clicked instantly, making the premiere a hit. Directed by Peter Falk, the last episode of the first season, Blueprint for Murder, showcased his talent behind the camera. Another notable episode, Murder by the Book, directed by Steven Spielberg, ranked 16 on TV Guide's 100 Greatest Episodes list. These pivotal moments and Falk's distinctive portrayal reshaped the show's direction and captivated audiences, establishing a new standard for detective dramas on TV. In the show's beginnings, Peter Falk altered the character's intended suave persona by embracing a messy appearance and a rambling style. The shift initially caused hesitation among producers, unsure if audiences would accept such an unconventional detective. However, Falk's portrayal resonated instantly, marking the premiere as a success. The last episode of the first season, Blueprint for Murder, showcased Falk's directorial talent, while Murder by the Book, directed by Steven Spielberg, gained recognition among TV Guide's top episodes. Spielberg, though not further involved, honored the show's impact at an event for the Rose Theater, attended by Falk and other cast members. Additionally, Falk's personal wardrobe, including his iconic raincoat purchased for $15 in 1967, became the character's signature style. His choice to include a cigar reflected his personal touch. The series skyrocketed in the Nielsen ratings, and Falk earned an Emmy Award for his role in the first season, setting a new standard for detective dramas on TV. This reshaped the show's trajectory, captivating audiences with its distinctive portrayal and leaving a lasting mark on television history. Sure, here's a concise piece about a fascinating aspect of the iconic detective show from the early 70s seconds. Peter Falk, known for his portrayal of the unorthodox detective, injected personal touches into his performance on the show. Despite his heritage being Polish-Jewish, Czech-Jewish, and Hungarian-Jewish, Falk convincingly portrayed an Italian-American with his New York accent and olive complexion. An interesting quirk of his portrayal was his fluency in Italian, a trait that was highlighted in two episodes, adding depth to his character's authenticity. Additionally, Falk frequently improvised during scenes, inserting unscripted actions and lines to create genuine frustration and impatience among his fellow actors, seeking to drive the dialogue to its essence. Writer Steven Bochco joined the team for the inaugural episode, guided by advice that changed the show's course. Given freedom to write for Peter Falk rather than a character, Bochco's approach won an Emmy. This crucial insight shaped the series' foundation, emphasizing Falk's instincts over character constraints, setting a precedent for the show's evolution. Bochco's adherence to Falk's portrayal became a defining aspect, marking the inception of the series' success. Within the universe of a legendary detective TV series hailing from the 70s, a memorable incident unfolds during Peter Falk's appearance at the Dean Martin celebrity roast of Frank Sinatra. It was in the year that follows the launch of the show, where Falk, donning his iconic detective persona, sought a cherished autograph dedicated to Rose, his beloved spouse. This delightful gesture added a sprinkle of the show's irresistible charm to the otherwise star-studded affair. Beyond the confines of the small screen, these captivating moments significantly contributed to the enduring legacy of the series. 
They shed light on Falk's unwavering dedication to embodying his character even in the most unforeseen and glamorous settings. It's these off-screen anecdotes that further solidify the show's place in popular culture, etching Falk's commitment to his role into the annals of television history. Amidst the creation of the Detective series, tensions brewed between Peter Falk and Universal Studios. Falk asserted that the studio reneged on a promise for him to direct multiple episodes, yet he did helm one blueprint for murder. This clash, reflecting Falk's desire for creative control, mirrored his character's persistent pursuit of justice. Despite challenges behind the scenes, Falk's determination prevailed, leaving an indelible mark on the series. The friction that Universal Studios hinted at the tenacity that characterized both Falk and his iconic detective alter ego, shaping the trajectory of the show's success. This dynamic, both on and off the screen, defined the essence of the 1971 TV series, showcasing a commitment to authenticity and vision. In the realm of iconic detective shows from the early 70s seconds, one noteworthy aspect adds a layer of authenticity to the series. Peter Falk's commitment to honoring those who contributed behind the scenes is exemplified by character actor Mike Lally. Despite being the second most recurring figure in the series, Lally often played background roles with minimal dialogue. However, in a standout episode, Now You See Him, Falk personally wrote and directed a scene featuring Lally as a retired acrobat, acknowledging his otherwise unremarkable yet substantial presence on the show. Beyond the cast dynamics, another intriguing facet lies in the choice of Columbo's Cara 1959 Peugeot 403 convertible. With only 504 two-door convertibles produced in 1959, the vehicle became an emblem of the detective's distinctive style. Notably, the license plate variations between the NBC and ABC years, 44 APD and 448 DBZ, add a subtle touch to the show's continuity and production history. Moreover, familial connections find a place within the series as Peter Falk's real-life wife, Shira Deniz, makes appearances in six episodes, portraying different characters each time. This personal touch adds a unique dimension to the show's narrative and showcases Falk's ability to integrate his personal life into his professional work seamlessly. These behind-the-scenes insights, whether paying homage to unsung contributors or infusing personal connections, contribute to the enduring legacy of the 1971 TV series. Each detail, from the recurring background actor to the choice of a distinctive convertible, adds layers of authenticity, elevating the show beyond its detective genre confines. As we bid adieu to our delightful journey through the enigmatic world of the 1971 TV series, consider the peculiar detective and his unmatched wit that has left an indelible mark on our hearts. Take a moment to traverse the corridors of your own memories, where each cunning mystery unfolded with the unrivaled charm of a certain trench coat clad investigator. Reflect on the subtle nuances that made this timeless show a captivating experience for you. Was it the clever plot twists, the iconic cigar, or perhaps the ever-observant eye that drew you into the spellbinding narrative? Share your musings, your favorite moments, and the quirks that resonate with you. Let the echoes of your thoughts intertwine with the collective admiration for a series that has stood the test of time. In this shared space of nostalgia, your reflections become a thread in the rich tapestry of appreciation for the brilliance that unfolded on screen. Whether you're a seasoned fan or a newcomer touched by the allure of this classic, your perspective adds depth to the collective narrative we've woven together. As we part ways, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for your time and engagement. Your thoughts and memories contribute to the vibrant tapestry of discussions surrounding this timeless masterpiece. Thank you for being a part of this shared exploration into the captivating realms of mystery and intrigue. Until our paths cross again in the labyrinth of storytelling, revel in the memories, share your tales, and keep the spirit of curiosity alive.